Watch punktv.ca for all the best modern rock videos and interviews. Hi, I'm Mr. Tritag and you're watching punktv.ca. All right, I'm Dixon Christie here from punktv.ca. We're here with Mr. Chai Pig. Another Hi. great honor for me. Thank you very much. I got to tell you, growing up in Edmonton, uh, SNFU, absolutely one of our very favorite bands and good hometown boy. How are you feeling? I'm feeling well, very well, very happy today. Good. Got to see my old friend Cameron there, the douchebag behind the camera there. <laughs> oh, uh, my, my sister right there behind the camera. And all your buddies are coming to the show tonight. You got Corb coming out. Yeah, Corb's coming out, and uh, I got to see Mike McDonald today. That was cool. Unfortunately, Tippy at Go Go's gonna be here. And <laughs> I got to meet Cameron's uh, n lovely new wife. Lovely new wife. Yeah, and uh, I met his beautiful daughter today, and she goes to Vic Comp, and I uh, graduated, graduated with honors. Comp. Fucking academic and non-academic honors. The fucking freaks rule. One thing people in probably don't fucking, know about you. In your fucking Facebook, hey, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know my name. You don't know where I came from. Oh, no, you didn't. All right, so SNFU. Mo most people uh, figured SNFU was... was Kind of gone, but you, you were telling me earlier that there's no way you're gonna you're gonna ever quit this band, no matter what happens you with know, the other I members. Never, I never did. People quit on me, and you know that's up to them. But uh, you know, it, it was like a spurned lover. It was like they, you know, you break up with one, and then your ex wants back into your life, and my ex wanted back into my life four times. Broke my fucking heart every time. I let them back in, only to get hurt again. I said fucking no more. And uh, I didn't say no more, but no more of that shit, right? And because uh, it hurt, it, it actually hurt. And uh, but then um, about two years went, and uh, my uh, old buddy saved me and said, "Try, you're fucking dying. Like you without music, it's like game over." And I knew it too, right? I I just felt very empty about it. And uh, yeah, so uh, thanks to them. And. Uh, yeah, I'm back in the game, and it's uh, very fun because I'm with my, my bestest buddies, even though we, we bitch at each other, but it's, that's the way things go, right? But we kiss and make up in the morning, and uh, we all look good in brown lipstick. <laughs> one more joke, one more with the pop. Hey, hey, one more pop, one And I... Tell us about the lineup. Who'd you who'd you pick to come out with you? Uh, I got my uh, friend of like uh, five years. Actually, played in the last uh, SNFU lineup uh, that toured for the In the Meantime and In Between Time record. His name's Shane Smith. We call him Wee Man because he's on like five foot nothing. And uh, Dennis, Dennis Nobody. Uh, he's a tattoo artist. Actually, he's uh, quite infamous in the tattoo community in Vancouver. He's been tattooing everybody for like 15 years. I met him 15 years ago, and Goonie used to play bass originally in the uh, Unwanted, and he plays guitar for me. I've known him. I first met him at, hey, I, met, I first met Goonie in uh, 82. He stayed with us at the nosedive. And he, sh he, stole his, uh, he stole your beret, your hair beret. Remember how mad you were that day? He stole your hair beret, remember? You were so mad, yeah. <laughs> so not only, um, not, what do I sign? <laughs> not only have you got a new band together, you guys are working on a new album? I, uh, well, actually, uh, yeah, forthcoming. Um, we just got back from a one-month tour of Europe, 
and uh, we did two Canadian tours last year, um, and uh, and we went to Costa Rica for three days, best three days of my life so far, and uh, good beer there. Where did you go? We went to Costa Rica. Like where in Costa Rica? Uh, San Jose. Do you know the way to San Jose? Bam, 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 bam. Did you play there? Yeah, we played and we played. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Nudge, yeah, nudge, yeah, wake, 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 say no more, say no more. All right, so um, you guys been all around the world, and uh, yeah, we uh, we just uh, did a 30-day tour of Europe, and uh, we're in Vancouver for seven days, which almost killed me because I had money in my pocket. I was in the bar every fucking night with one of my bestest friends, and uh, oh, is my fucking liver tired? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was fun. You gotta go on tour to recuperate from your. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. When I get home, downtime. Oh, that's the enemy. Yeah, this year, but it was great. I remember some of it, <laughs> so but you're not all of it. I can't elaborate on that. <laughs> you're back at home for seven days. Are you guys writing? What's the writing process like for Mr. Chai Pig? Hey, uh, actually, I, I just write like in my spare time, but we're so caught up in this that, uh, you know, I need, I, I need like a, an artist's life of solitude. It's like, you know, you can't answer the phone. You can't fucking have people over. It's a distraction. So... It's a lonely life, but you know, uh, but it's well worth it because what comes out of it in the en in the end, no pun intended, is you know, you get, you get drawings, you get songs, you get words out of it, you get everything out of it. It's worth it. And it's all true. It's all fuck. No, everything's a lie. <laughs> but it's a great lie. <laughs> I'm the biggest fucking liar you ever fucking meet. Is it true um, Charles Bukowski and Henry Miller said that you can only ever write from a place of pain and a place of shit? Is that well, the, the artist's what? life? Yeah, because it's, lo it's lonely, and yeah, and uh, I think good things come from, you know, you work through it, and, and you get that pain out. You can either do it in a couple of ways. You can be a violent motherfucker and beat up your girlfriend or beat your wife or fucking get into fights in bars and shit. Or you can take it out on a piece of paper or fucking scream. And that's, you know, venting is what it is. And if it wasn't for me singing, you know, I, I'd be a very angry man. But I'm not. Because I, and skateboarding was the same way. It was the way to get your aggression out without hurting people. You might hurt yourself, but, you know, I think uh, it, if, if you play the hurt game, the only one you're allowed to hurt is yourself. So, you know, but, you know, and then theoretically, hypothetically speaking, um, you know, you hurt the ones you love the most because they don't want to see you go through that. But you got to go through it or else you're going to be pent up, you're going to be angry. And you know what? Then you turn into a fucking Oilers fan. <laughs> TV.ca for all the best modern rock videos and interviews.